Hello, my name is Peter Parfit and welcome to this basics video where I'll be showing you how to break down big lumps of timber like this using the bandsaw to get them into sizes which are more useful. That process is called resawing, and we're going to take the sawn timber and then clean it up with the planing machine. The first step is to mark out uh, your wood using a scribe like this and after you've made your mark where you want to cut it then use a pencil just to make sure that that line is very easy to see. Now before you can start to do any sawing you need to get your bandsaw set up properly make sure it's running freely and I'm not going to cover how to set up a bandsaw in this video. You do need some form of outfeed table if you've got longer pieces of wood or a second person to help you. I always have a push stick so that when I'm towards the end of the cut my hands never go anywhere near that blade and I also wear ear defenders. Now take it steady as you go through this bit of sawing, don't push too hard. It's quite normal that you find you have to adjust uh, which direction you're going in in order to keep the saw blade going on a straight line through the cut. So don't worry about that, uh, but just keep your eyes open. If anything looks odd, then stop the saw and check what the problem is. There we have our very first cut done. It's nice and square, um, and that just needs a very slight clean up with the planing machine. I could have just planed this down to this uh, thickness, but I've now got quite a useful little piece of wood here which might be of use when I'm making the side of a drawer uh, or whatever it might be. So I haven't wasted this piece of wood at all. cleaned up that face and now we'll take this back to the bandsaw to continue cutting it now into the strips that we require. Well I'm ready for the next piece, I've scribed it, I've put a pencil line through the scribe mark and so it's easy for me to see. Now I'm only going to take off one piece, although I want four or five altogether, I'm only going to take off one piece and then the big bit is going to go back to the planing machine to have that face cleaned up again. And the reason I do it like that is that it will overall save time because I want to make sure that we've got nice right angles between the faces and the edges of the timber we're producing. And so the only way to maintain that is to make sure that the stock piece remains at right angles before you cut it. The other thing not to fall into the trap is don't cut a piece off this edge and then off that edge at the same time because when you take the middle lump back uh, to the planer, you can't guarantee that you're necessarily getting a, a right angle cleaning up of those two cut faces. So you do it one at a time. Now, I've brought it back to the saw. I need to adjust now the saw down so that that is closer to the thickness of the timber. I've got my push stick. I've got my ear defenders. I'm going to turn my extractor on and away we go. Take it nice and steady and you'll find that this cut will go through nice and easy. And there we go, again, a very nice bit of sawing and we're going to take the big lump back to the planer to clean up this face now so we can repeat the process. Don't be 
be tempted to do the thin bit at this stage. We're going to have a lot of these and we want to do them all at the same time so they end up being precisely the same thickness. Well there we go. That's the last of my bits done and all I've got to do now is put these through the paint machine just to get the thickness right. And so that's resawing timber.